than four hours, we will have to go to the Mont Hygiene. Wow! Oh my god, it's raining. I don't know if you guys can hear, but it's raining quite heavily now. So now it's uh, 9 p.m. at uh, 12 a.m. A driver will come and pick us up and drive us to the mountain. And from there, we will have to hike to the summit to have a beautiful uh, view. Hopefully. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see. So now we will try to sleep and uh, we hope that in three hours, when we wake up, the rain will be stopped. Morning, it's 12.15 a.m. now. I could not sleep. <laughs> I didn't sleep actually. We slept uh, just a little bit. We are supposing to leave in 15 minutes. But I don't know if you can hear it, but it's still raining quite heavily. I don't know if you are still going or, or what happens. I don't know. We hope that it will not be like that during our hike. Because uh, yeah, working like that for one hour to two hours uh, will not be really a pleasant uh, experience. So the driver came, so it's time to go. We hope for the best. We adopt two different strategies. Yeah, for mm. climbing today. It's raining, so I choose to yeah. wear yeah. sandals. <laughs> Even if it's wet, I will not be too in uncomfortable. And your sandal is uh, good for walking, so yeah. I think it will do. Okay. You just have to pick up the don't get injured yeah. when you uh, walk up. And you? So those are my shoes, and inside I have a plastic bag. You can see because it's black, but this one is, uh, yeah, you can see. <laughs> so it's the first time I done this. I hope it helps because it's not waterproof. We will see at the end if uh, our strategy works. I hope both work because I don't want uh, yeah. either of us uh, <laughs> to be like too wet or cold. just arrived and I think that the guide will now explain to us how we will climb the, the Mount Hygien. Okay, we are now on our way and we are a group of 10 people. We have one guide, he leads the way, so we just follow him. This is the beginning, normally it should take around one hour to two hours. Yeah. It's completely dark now, so we turn on the light on our head. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of uh, kind of exciting. Huh? <laughs> the wind stops already. And for now, the world is really really nice. I don't know if you can see a little bit. I try to to show you with my lights. If it's like that for one hour, two hours, okay. Is it on? No. Ah, nice one. <laughs> you can see better. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so the guy did a little recap and uh, from now he's going up. The effort will start. It's going to be a good exercise. Yeah, good challenge. Oh yeah, I can feel it. It's more steep. Okay. But it's not easy. Huh? <laughs> it's really steep. So we have like two hours to go to the top so we can maybe see the blue fire. For now it's okay. But yeah, it's really continuously just going up. So we just have to go slowly and steady. There are a few people to carry one person. But uh, we can feel that it's really exhausting for them. Very strong guy. And I don't know if you can see the steepness. And you can see that everybody are walking slowly. Oh, it's really steep. <laughs> You have to climb with your hands. <laughs> Maybe it's easier. It's kind of 
kind of smelly you now because it smells something uh, an odor that we are not used to and maybe it's the sulfur yeah it starts to smell so i think that we have to put the mask on now yeah I, we saw some people uh, yeah, do it so put. yeah some people don't put it but, uh, we don't see a guide i don't know maybe uh, he's behind maybe we wait a little bit i think it's like this Is it okay? Yeah. yeah. You can breathe well? It's okay. Can you see all the lights? Those lights are people. Climbing up. We are not alone. So it's quite safe actually. Okay, Ryan group. Ryan group, Ryan group. So I hope we have close together and then just follow my interaction. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Okay? Two, row, low, but this way. Okay, so from now, uh, the guy told us that we are going down and the road is really narrow, so we have to be careful. Uh, we will also see some uh, carrier of the sulfur and they carry uh, a minimum of 50 kilos. So it's really impressive. because when we were going down we could not see anything because it was so dark but now the sun is going up little by little and we have this view now incredible and the blue fire also was just amazing first time we saw something like this and we are happy to witness something like this
Bos, ayo, kumpul sih You are happy? Oh yes. Oh, it's so worth it. And the view we can just uh, can't get enough. We are walking to this way, but every time we stop and just uh, to take pictures and uh, and looking to remember. First time I see something like this in my life. Yeah, it was taking. We are so lucky to be here. Yeah, and uh, this is actually a really nice tour because uh, we have time. I think we, uh, we have time to enjoy. We can uh, walk around a little bit and uh, just enjoying the landscape and the lake is just uh, amazing. The blue. <laughs> Wow, look at this view guys, just can't get enough of that. And look here, we were just here this, uh, this early morning when we saw the blue flame, blue fire. It was incredible the blue fire and we are so lucky to uh, witness that. But yeah, look at that, the lake, incredible. Yesterday night, when it was raining really heavily, we, we were losing hope already to see the blue flame and, uh, and uh, the view. But arriving here, we have this uh, good weather. We could see the blue fire and this view, so we are really grateful for that. And lucky. This is incredible where I'm standing now. There's behind me, beautiful mountain, green. And uh, other side, you can see the beautiful lake. Just incredible. We are always the last one of a group. <laughs> we take so many pictures, but uh, we have to catch up. Oh, 
Bir Sip öyle ya. Hıh. 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 Hıh.